Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Zoe. And I'm Carson. Please stand and remove your hat for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bulldogs, here's this week's winter dress up days. Tomorrow at the 12th is Winter Wonderland Whiteout. Wear Whiteout to school. This Wednesday's theme is Santa's Workshop, dressed like any holiday character, elf, reindeer, Santa, presents, etc. Thursday, December 14th is Ugly Slash Festive Sweater Day. Wear your ugliest and or most festive holiday sweater. And Friday the 15th is Flannel Day. Wear your favorite flannel to school. Reminder, Bulldogs, the dress code will be enforced. Now here's this week's Bulldog introductions. Let's see who Caesar has for our guest on this episode. Uh, what is your name? What do you teach? Uh, Mr. Fetter, and I'm a resource specialist here on campus. How did you find the subject you enjoy teaching here at Charlotte High School? Uh, well, kind of I started out as a history teacher here at Turlock High School and uh, love doing that and I like working with kids. So specifically I work with kids with uh, some learning disabilities. So uh, giving them a chance to be successful uh, really was what makes me happy to do what I do. Uh, so I get to work with freshmen through seniors. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, I get kids when they're freshmen and I get to see them all the way through until they graduate. So um, we're teaching history. I got, you know, 100 and something students every year, but here I have about, you know, 28, 30 kids on a caseload and I really get to know them, um, take care of them, get to know their families and, you know, help guide them through high school to graduation. So it's really rewarding uh, watching them come in young as freshmen and then watching them mature, uh, become good people see them either go to college, help them find jobs, or just graduate. Um, it's really rewarding seeing them be successful. That's great. What would you say is your favorite part about Turlock High School? Oh man, there's so many awesome things. Uh, man, the culture, the, you know, the history of it, you know, being a history buff and, and loving that. You know, Turlock's been around for, you know, way over a hundred years now. One of the oldest schools uh, one of the best schools in the area. Um, a lot of schools hate us because they're not us, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's great to see Turlock be successful and just being a part of what it is for so long. Plus being such a large school, um, we get to impact and be a part of so many kids' lives and from clubs to classes to athletics, um, you know, and just you know, all the culture that's a part of Turlock High School, there's so much to offer here, um, and being able to be a part of that is a pretty awesome thing. So I take pride, um, and hopefully, you know, all the kids that come through Turlock, I love seeing the blue and gold around campus, and kids being involved is really cool to be a part of. Hey Bulldogs, have you ever wanted to see your words published in a book? Do you write original poetry? Spilling Ink is now accepting submissions of original poetry for possible publication in a new anthology of student writing. Email your poems to Mr. McElroy, bring them in to EW1, or submit them to the Google form located online in the bulletin anytime between now and December 21st. And speaking of Spilling Ink's new book of student poetry, this is a chance for artists to submit their artwork. We are now accepting submissions of original artwork for possible publication. Spilling Inc. will also be selecting one submission as the cover for the anthology. Email your digital files to Mr. McElroy. Bring in the original artwork to EW1 anytime between now and December 21st. Turlock High Art Block, also known as STAB, returns with a special crossover episode with the members of Finish the Lyrics. Here's Naima with more. Hi, I'm Naima Neely, your host of this episode of THAB. I'm here with the Finish the Lyrics crew, but wherever could they be? <laughs> guys are would you please introduce yourselves i am tristan morgan i am daniel are you guys happy to be on this episode of fab not really no it's static what typically goes into planning finish the lyrics is i suggest some songs and the reporter he, he's also named daniel uh, he either declines or accepts it 
and then we find the timestamps to see uh, which part would be more recognizable for people. Then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we go out during lunch and we film. Usually two people a day. I, but I'm like the primary editor, yeah. But sometimes, ponytail. Uh, what is it? Uh, he's the backup editor. He's he's all right. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He tall guy. I really get any time to edit these, but but you know if I complain, usually I get the death stare from uh, Daniel Loza. But but he's all right. He's all right. He doesn't hit me or anything. Golly gee, Daniel, where did, where did our host go? I don't know. I <laughs> Seriously though, that wraps up this episode of Fab. Thank you to the Finish the Lyric crew for collabing with us. They're very great, nice, talented people. Daniel Loza was looking pretty fine in that last episode. Please watch again. Thank you. Regards to Fab for, for collabing with us. They're they're all right. They're pretty cool. Need help with your math homework or math test? Stop by room M1 on Monday or room M16 on Wednesday for math tutoring during lunch. That's math tutoring Mondays in M1 and Wednesdays in M16 at lunch by Math Club. Are you missing your hydro flask, sweater, or some other item? Stop by the attendance office to check the lost and found. Congrats to the THS chess team. THS chess won 15 to 11 against Oakdale High last Thursday. The next match is against Benjamin Holt High School on January 25th. Great job, dogs. December is random acts of kindness, and K-pop Club has an activity happening this week. Here is K-pop Club with more information. Hey Bulldogs! Would you like some free hot chocolate? Right here in front of the science building. The K-Pop Club will be hosting a hot chocolate kindness act and bracelet sale. From 7.30 a.m. to 8.20 a.m. next Wednesday, December 13th. See, See you then, Bulldogs! Bulldogs. Here's the full calendar of this week's Random Acts of Kindness events at THS. This Monday is NAMI Club. Join NAMI as they make stress balls to help with upcoming finals at the rally court during lunch. Tomorrow Tuesday is the International Club. Join them as they make multilingual message, message cards at the rally court. Wednesday again is K-pop Club, 7.30 a.m. to 8.20 a.m. in front of the Science Building, Kindness Bracelet Sale. This Thursday is Spilling Ink. Kindness cards will be passed out at the tea before school and lunch. Finally, this Friday is D&D &D Club and Yearbook. Treats, bracelets, and photos at the tea at lunch. Don't miss out. Let's throw it over to the Fire Fit crew to see the latest Fire nominees. You've been nominated Fire Fit. How do you feel? Um, I feel greatly honored uh, about being nominated. You've been nominated for Fire Fit. How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, I feel special. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be on here until like last week. Can you, over uh, can you explain your fit for us today? Yeah, so uh, I'm wearing the Ariat jacket today, some jeans. These are uh, UKEs, and then uh, some Hey Dudes. Oh, the chain. Uh, this was a gift for uh, my birthday. I got this chain from my custom jeweler in Miami. It cost like good 150 racks. Can you go over your fit for us, please? Let's see, all right, I got the tech on, the Nike hoodie. Um, I don't even know what shirt I'm wearing. I got the supply and demand joggers on, the socks over. The Crocs, probably had these for like a year. They look great though. Alright, um, so I'm currently wearing the football cancer awareness shirt. Some, these are my dad's jeans actually, I don't know where they're from. Kind of dirty. And I'm wearing my Jordan 1 Skylines. Got those a long time ago, so yeah. What would you say is the cost of this fit? I mean, in total, it's like 250 around there. Good buck fitty. The shirt. Uh, I didn't really pay for it. I worked for it. These uh, pants, I got them from my dad's closet, so they're technically free. Uh, the most expensive part is probably the shoes, which were 190 200 Okay, what inspired you to wear this amazing fire, oh my, voluptuous fit today? Um, I woke up and uh, 
I just threw on whatever, so nobody really inspired me. Okay, well, pick the nice fit. I'd say my mom. She wears similar fits to this, so I just took inspiration from her, really. Um, I woke up this morning, and yesterday was my birthday, so I thought I'd wear something special. In this wait, class, wait, what are you gonna ask me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Now. So I'm gonna ask you. This helps me. I'm gonna be like, you've been on your fire fit. How do you? Feel? Let me ask you to go over your fit uh, that you're wearing today. Like, can you go over your fit today? Like, what inspired you to wear this fit? And then I'll ask you, what's the cost of this whole fit? You'll just go. Over Hey Bulldogs, are you interested in being a team manager for girls basketball? See Coach Hernandez for more details. Shout out to Maya Day, Daisy Gonzalez, Logan Petty, and Teddy Santos for earning the Stan Co. Distance All-District Team honors in cross country. Go Dogs! Hey seniors, don't miss out on free cash for college. Be sure to fill out the local scholarship applications. You can find the application on the THS website under counseling. The application is now open and closes this Friday at 3.30 p.m. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Carson. And I'm Zoe. Over, Over and out, Bulldogs. Bulldogs. See you, See you next time on Turlock Today. today.